Okay, good morning. We're about to set off on the canal. The start of it is right behind us and the path to the sea is just down. We'll take a little bit of a video of that. This must just be like a parking area. So it's great to be back on the bikes. We've been off the bikes for about three months now and we're off to do our adventure. And the first part of it is the Leeds, well, the Liverpool to Leeds Canal, which is about 200 kilometers. So it'll be great. Hard, no road, just riding next to the canal. Okay, England's a very unique place and we're just starting the ride and this is definitely a bike path. Okay, and you find this all over the bike paths, at least in Liverpool. They make it almost impossible for you to get your bike onto the bike path. And as you're going along the bike path, they put obstacles in your way so you have to get off the bike and ride and sort of manhandle your bikes through them. I don't know what this is for, but it's super annoying. We're at the place where the Liverpool to Leeds canal meets the Mercy River and there's like a series of four locks as it goes up. It's very industrial setting but the locks are in good condition and everything is called the Stanley Locks or Stanley series of locks. And right next to it is a warehouse which we were told is the largest brick warehouse in the world. It's called the Tobacco Warehouse. It looks like it's been converted into units now but it's really, really big. Anyway, it's lovely, it's lovely, and the weather's good too. Okay, here's a good example. So we're on a bicycle path, and the government, or the council, puts these in. Your bike doesn't fit through, so you've got to manhandle it. We've ridden a really long way, about a mile and a half, and on the canal what I can say is if even though you're in a big city, it feels like you're in the middle of the countryside, even when you know that you're in a big city. Now this canal was still viable up until the, about the 1950s, and you can see like this here, like a loading thing, I'm going to say for coal, but it could be for anything. So there's a series of wharfs that over jut over the canal where you can just imagine they used to push coal onto the canals to send it up to the cotton mills. One of the interesting things is this is the Liverpool to Leeds canal which is you know just mainly used for well it is only used now for people like us cycling, walkers and um, you know recreational barges which we've seen quite a few of them. The Liverpool to Manchester Canal, still in operation to this day. So here's another example of you know, the old industries that used to be here. So there's another wharf, uh, another wharf complex. And also you can see this warehouse, this beautiful building, and it's derelict at the moment. They used to be able to take them all the way in to the building. As you can see, it's just bricked up there. But I think it's really cool. Well, one of the things I should mention is this doesn't go all the way into Liverpool. It stops about one mile before Liverpool. And there's not really a good bike path into Liverpool other than on a major road after that. But it is only about one mile or just less than one mile until you hit a, quite a good bike path. We're still in town and we've probably come about five kilometers and I just want to show that the um, the path is very peaceful even though we're in the middle of town and uh, there's quite a lot of overhanging branches so if you ride tall you're gonna to have to do a lot of ducking which is what I'm finding the path has been mainly sealed but of not very great quality lots of potholes and very bumpy but really lovely and as I'm looking towards the camera I can see ducks coming down the river or coming down the canal uh, it's very beautiful.
Okay, we've come across the first sign that explains the leads to Liverpool Canal as part of the Trans Penne uh, Trail. We're intending to do this on the way back across the country in about two weeks, the Trans Penne Trail. We're just leaving Liverpool now. I think we're right on the outskirts of it. Uh, PJ saying that we have to stop for coffee at a place called Mag Hull, which is, is a few more kilometers down the uh, track. We've just come off the last sealed section from Liverpool. And if you look down here, it turns into a dirt single track. And we've just come over Swing Bridge. So, you know, um, it's pretty cool some of the infrastructure that they have here. When the swing bridge is open, it looks like there's only a gap of about 11, 12 feet. So the boats would be restricted in the size that could get down the canal. We've only gone past a couple of uh, canal boats and they've all been stationary at the moment. Ding your bell as you're going around blind corners and you can see the gravel. I actually quite prefer this to the um, broken bitumen, it's much softer. So we found a spot to stop for coffee and so far so good. The path changes from dirt to uh, bitumen and the dirt is the best so far it's looking a little bit overcast hopefully it's not going to rain today but we are in england so It is rather. While there's many benefits to being on the canal path, it's very beautiful, there's no cars, you know, you, you meet people and you get to see the canal boats. It's really killing my ass. My ass is like, it, it wants off, it wants off. <laughs> I just 
Show us your left. Other way. Ah, oh, yes. Fashion. Poor oh, Charlie. So I've done 65 kilometers today on the trail path and it's been beautiful like it really has but the path is challenging with the condition of it as far as there's lots of little bumps and my ass is killing me right killing me I think PJ is suffering from the same fate also the people who design these gates to get the bikes in through really hate cyclists or they think we've all got carbon fiber weigh nothing bicycles and Good. people in wheelchairs are blocked too. Yeah, so we've seen people trying to get through with prams. It's been a disaster. We've seen people with electric bikes that are quite heavy and they're quite aged. They find it very difficult. So I don't know. I don't know who designed them, but they're, they're assholes.
Okay, day one of the canal is finished. 66 kilometers and the hotel we're in is, you know, pretty standard hotel. I, you know, every time you get back on the bike after a long break, it's like hell. And why I chose to go on like the world's bumpiest <laughs> path for 66 kilometers is beyond me. Because literally, it feels like my legs have parted an extra couple of inches and my, my spine is just being ripped apart. Because like it, every bump was like just pure torture towards the end. Anyway, so hopefully tomorrow, and we all know it hurts more the next day, um, won't be as bad. But tomorrow is 60, 60 kilometers to the next um, hotel.